man, those obelisks, they still blow my mind. I can, can I hear a guy? He's there! You can get him! Can you get me home? I hit him! Oh my god, that was so cool! Let's see what kind of stuff he's got. What's going on guys and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Ark's a game that I've wanted to play for quite a while now, but sadly my old PC couldn't run it. But with this new one, I can finally both play and record the game at the same time. So I'm hoping to make this into a little bit of a survival series, which should be fun. Now for those of you who don't know, Ark is a multiplayer open world survival game with dinosaurs. Hence you can see those stegosauruses in the background there, which is, you know, pretty damn awesome. So we're going to begin by collecting some basic resources so we can build us ourselves a pickaxe and yes you do punch trees in the first episode i really want to do a little bit of exploring and build our very first house which should be awesome and to do that we needed to punch some trees get the basic resources so that we could build a pickaxe and now that we've done that we should be able to mine a little bit of rock build the next bit of tools and then get on to building our very own house but for now let's find some rocks whoa Holy crap! <laughs> Look at that boulder go fly- it took out the- Oh, I thought it was gonna like take out the pterodactyl for a second. That would have been too cool. Okay, we gotta keep heading towards that giant thing in the sky. <sighs> Guys, I found a crazy dodo lady. She's gone around, she's knocked out these three dodos on the ground. They're not dead, they're just unconscious. And I think she's trying to train them into like some weird kind of hybrid dodo army. Why she wants a dodo army? I'm not exactly sure, but there's also something really cool over here that I spotted from the distance. There's all the spikes and this big red thing. I'm not exactly... Whoa. Whoa! Holy crap! Is that a wall? Someone built that! That is massive! They're gates. They're actual gates. I, I kind of want to get inside. Oh yeah, of course they're locked. Metal behemoth gates. Okay, someone really doesn't want us to get in. I kind of want to see what it looks like inside though. Let's let's climb to the top of the hill. See what we can see from up there. That is awesome. I didn't even know you could build things that big in this game. This hill. It's so big. It's so long. We're almost there though. This place looks really hostile looking. Oh, whoa, he's put spikes all over the edge of the cliff and look at that. That is awesome. I think there's even a mine down there that he's, uh, he's basically blocked off the entrance to this mine. Claimed it for himself. That is massive. It's kind of cool seeing the kind of awesome stuff we're going to be able to build in this game. Yeah, okay. This place is sealed up pretty tight. I'm not going to risk jumping off a cliff just to get in there. Let's go. I want to build my own fort. Oh, that's a drop. I saw one of these in a guide. Basically, they kind of appear randomly around the map, and if you can get to them in time before they disappear, you can actually claim a bunch of really cool loot from them. Okay, I'm there, but there's this little baby carnivorous dinosaur hanging out beneath it. I know you're all thinking, Muzok, just go whack it. But I'm not risking it, man. I got a bunch of really cool stuff on me. And I don't know how strong enemy dinosaurs are in this. Torch, hatchet. Ooh, this is all really, really good stuff. Slingshot. Nice. Two spears. Thatch door. Wooden door frame. Oh man, this is like everything we needed to build a house. This is a house right here. Oh! Okay, those things are cool. We definitely gotta hunt those down next time we see them. Pride Rock. That's our target. Okay, that's where we're gonna go. Oh my god, and a waterfall as well. Ah, do we want to build on top of the waterfall or beneath it? Okay, we're doing it here, beneath the waterfall. I love this spot so much. I'm just, I'm just a sucker for waterfalls, really. Just, I don't know what it is about them, but whenever I see one in a game, I've got to go look at it and build near it and live around it. And this is a really, really sick waterfall. So I think this is going to be a pretty uh, nice scenic spot for us to build our first base. Can't believe no one else is around here. I've actually gone out uh, and gone and uh, built a whole bunch of these foundation things. I thought I'd cut that out of the video because there is a ton of resource collecting that you got to do in this game, which is, you know, a little bit boring, a little bit mundane, but hey, it's got to be done. Humble beginnings. It's not quite as cool as that fort we saw earlier, but... Okay, guys, I finally got the last bits of wall we need. I was literally sitting in the woods for like 45 minutes chopping down trees. 
I'm the king of deforestation. I, I, I just need to keep admiring this waterfall. Every single time I walk back here, we've got the last walls we need. And then after that, all we're going to need to do is uh, get some roofing in here. Because I hear roofs are kind of important things for houses. But I kind of, I, I like how this one's shaping up. You know, it's just a starter house. We can, we can build on it. We can add second floors. But right now, I'm pretty happy to just have four walls and a door. Although I guess this one's got like 13 walls. But hey, it looks pretty good. We got a fire in the middle. Some nice room space. It's probably a little bit bigger than what I need for right now. But hey, home sweet home. Okay, here we go. We're putting on the final touches of the house. The last bits of roofing. Now I kind of think about it. It might not have been the best idea to build a bonfire inside my house that's built entirely out of wood. But hey, it's not Minecraft, so we should be we should be safe for now. And there we go. It's done. It's beautiful. We've got a complete house. Four walls and a roof. This is really cool. I got my sleeping bag in the corner. We got our cooking campfires there. And I actually had to build two fires because for some reason the pot couldn't cook steak and then we've got our two storage boxes over here this is a house though this looks really damn cool and i hear something outside who goes there anyone nope i just can't get over how beautiful this spot is and on top of that no one else is built around here i'm literally the only house in the entire area makes me think that maybe there must be some areas that are even more awesome than this one and up there we got pride rock i don't know i've called it pride rock it reminds me of that rock from the lion king and then the ark I don't actually know if it's called the Ark, but I'm just calling it the Ark because I don't know what else to call it. And later on, I really want to go explore that. And then up there, that's the big, bigger pride rock. I don't have a name for that either, but I really want to go and see what the view looks like from up there. Because I reckon it would be pretty damn stunning. Oh, is that a... That's a house. Holy... Look how hostile that house looks. It's like a hedgehog. Okay, I really... I don't think this guy, anyone wanted to come and mess with his belongings. Okay, I decided to climb Bigger Pride Rock, just because I really want to see what the view's like from the top. I mean, this game's pretty damn beautiful. Once you've actually got a computer that's good enough to run it, don't attack me. So uh, I'm thinking we could get some uh, pretty sexy shots from the top. Why are you following me? Did I mention I have a fear of giant scorpions? They're like spiders, but with tails. He won't leave me alone, guys. I really freaking hate scorpions. Just listen to the way he walks. It's creepy, man. Leave me alone. Okay, screw it. I got a plan. We're right next to the cliff. Beneath the cliff, there is a big friggin' river. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Please don't. Don't make me do it. Oh, screw this. Geronimo. Oh, crap. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. 